Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. And in this video, I want to bring you guys a guide for this week's Tier 3 boss in the Court of Oryx. If you guys do find this video helpful, then a like would be massively appreciated. And also don't forget to subscribe for much more Taken King coverage. Now, in case you guys didn't already know, it seems that the Tier 3 bosses that come from the Antiquated Ruins are actually weekly. Last week we had Kagur, who was the wizard that hid behind his massive ogre friend. And this week we have Thalnok, fanatic of Crota, whom I'm going to dub Mini Crota. Because let's be honest... He's basically just a fanboy. Clearly we killed Crota and he's trying to take his place, so that's pretty much what you've got. And when it comes to tactics, if you guys have done Crota's in Raid and you've actually fought Crota, then you're going to be very familiar with what you want to do. This is effectively a dumbed down, simplified, miniature version of the Crota fight. Mini Crota spawns in the middle, outside the portal. He has two wizards either side of him. An Ultra Knight will spawn in the middle, and that's basically your sword bearer, and there'll be some adds around. The way you want to deal with this is as follows. You want to first take out the adds on the left and the right, and take out the wizards as soon as possible so they don't give you too much trouble. After that you then want to burn down the sword bearer and then once you kill him, he'll drop a relic. You then want to have someone pick that one up. And just like when you're fighting Crota, Mini Crota also has a shield. Once you down it, he'll drop to his knee and the person with the relic will then go and attack him. Now if you guys have been using your own personal swords recently, get out of the habit of using RB because this is an old fashioned relic which means you want to use the right trigger attack. If you time it right, you can just about get 4 hits in, otherwise you'll get 3, you then need to jump away, your team can then down Mini Crota again, and if you're good, speedy and you did sufficiently, you can get 2-3 to three sword runs before the relic disappears. Once it disappears, the adds will spawn again, more wizards appear, another sword bearer appears, and you repeat the process. So you simply rinse and repeat until he's dead, and that is all there is to it. The cool thing about Mini Crota is he's not quite as much of a pain as actual Crota, given that when you're within visibility range, he doesn't seem to sort of fire that annoying kind of hand laser beam at you, but don't be fooled, he will still one hit you. So just like Crota, you don't actually want to get too close with the relic until he's on his knee. Either way, that is pretty much it. That's all there is to it. You have a total of four minutes to do this, and we did this in about three rotations. Obviously, it does help if you have other people around, but generally speaking, if you have a fire team of three, then you should still be all right. Make sure you deal with the ads first because it makes your life a hell of a lot easier. But aside from that, as I said, if you've defeated Crota, then Mini Crota shouldn't give you too much trouble. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you guys do have any questions, then let me know in the comments down below. And I'll continue to do guides for these tier 3 bosses as and when they show up in subsequent weeks. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.